Today I'm going to cover how you can use Cinema 4D's cloth system to create a tent simulation that blows in the wind. Let's get started. Add a cube to the scene. Increase the size X parameter to about 500 centimeters. Increase the Z segments to two and the X segments to three. Duplicate the cube object. Hide the original cube and select the duplicate. Hit C to make the cube editable. Select edge mode. Double click the edges on the top and sides of the cube. Pull their position down and scale them inwards to start forming the shape of a tent. Select Polygon Mode and highlight the polys on the front, back, and bottom of the cube. Delete them. Now we have our base for the tent fabric. Now go back to Edge Mode and select all of the edges by hitting Ctrl A. Hit Shift C and type Edge to Spline. Select it. Now you should have a spline that follows the edges of your base geometry. Select the spline, hold Alt, and add a sweep to it. Now hold Shift with the sweep selected and add an end side spline under it. Reduce the end side radius to 1. Now you have a frame for the tent. Select the tent geometry and duplicate it again. Switch to polygon mode, hit Ctrl A to select every polygon, and then subdivide it several times by repeatedly hitting U then S. The more you subdivide the object, the more detail you'll get in your cloth sim, but don't go too far with it now, you can always come back later and add more subdivisions. Now with every polygon selected, click the select menu and hit set vertex weight at the bottom of the menu. The default value of 100% is fine, click OK. This will add a vertex map to the tent. Select the vertex map, click the use fields option, and then delete the freeze object in the fields menu. Select the spline we created for the frame and drag it into the fields menu. Click the spline in the fields menu and select the layer tab. Change the distance mode to radius and turn the radius down to one. With the tent geometry selected, go to the tags menu and under the simulation tags, add a cloth tag. You'll see that if we press play on our timeline right now, the tent just falls through our scene, which is not what we want, let's fix that. Select the cloth tag and under the mix animation tab, hit the with pins option. Now you can drop the vertex map into the map parameter. If you press play now, you'll see the vertex map is now pinning our tent, but it's not exactly the look we want. So select the vertex map and in the fields option under the remapping tab, select invert. Now we're getting something that looks more like fabric when we hit play. So now that we've got most of the sim set up, grab the spline that's being used as the seams and hit play on the timeline. If you drag the spline back and forth in the scene, you'll see that the seams will update procedurally, which is something we could not do in previous versions of Cinema 4D. This makes it so much easier to play around and get tons of different looks. All right, for the last portion of this setup, select the simulate menu and under forces, select wind. The wind can be positioned anywhere in the scene for this. The wind will flow in whatever direction its Z axis is pointed. Increase the wind speed to 500 centimeters and the turbulence to 250%. Press play and you'll see some light movement in our fabric. Now I'm going to quickly add some rotation keyframes to the wind parameter so that it's slowly oscillating back and forth over the length of my timeline. Things are looking good, the fabric is flowing in the wind and we're getting some variation as the wind rotates. Click the cloth tag and under the surface tab, increase the target length parameter to 105%. This gives the cloth a little more slack and will allow it to move more in the wind. Finally, add a subdivision surface to the cloth if you want to make things a little more chaotic, increase the wind speed and turbulence. So obviously there's a bunch of different ways that you can manipulate this setup, but this video just covers the basics. If you found this video helpful, throw me a like down below and I will see you in the next video.